So I guess this happened, King. Got some new breaking news from the Dallas Mavericks side. A uh, former Mav has returned. So let's talk about it, man. Right here on We Talk Mavs. Hello, y'all. Hey, we made it to summer. <laughs> let's get it. We made it to the finals, but we out for the summer. What an exciting season, what's next? I wonder. Bella King with the glow, y'all done play back. When October comes, he said, we can run it back. We made it to the storm and we almost got the chip. We had some tough games, but now we ain't quit. We saw them boys come together, others fall apart. But most important thing, we saw our teams got hard. Luca making records and Kyrie making moves. When there's breaking news, Bella King got it for when you wanna see some fan perspective Or when you want you to make no food to shoot Whether you wanna talk or vent or who's who Just keep it respectful to my glow yard crew A WTM just to speak to the panel And welcome to the We Talk Math channel mm. Nico run it back Nico run it back Nico run it back When October comes he said Nico run it back So like I said before we started, man, listen. Breaking news. They just dropped here. You know, me and King have to take a quick second to talk about it, man. So we spend a quick second to talk about this breaking news. Uh, not a lot to get into, but just I know this this is something that I think a lot of Mav fans have been wondering what the Mavs were going to do. They have one spot left. And King, this is the news right here. Spencer Dinwiddie has agreed on a one-year deal with the Mavericks per Sham Sharania. So listen, man, before we start talking about this and that and that and this, let me take a real quick second to show some love to our partners over at Playback. So download the Playback app wherever you get your apps from. It's absolutely free, guys. You can join us there as we stream all the Dallas Maverick games and other and more things. Playback TV. All right, King, listen, man. Spencer has returned to the Dallas Mavericks. I know a lot of Mav fans were not happy at first. Well, probably, probably divisive right now. But I know a lot of Mav fans are so-called not happy because of some comments that he made. You know how that goes, man. But uh, before we get into it, man. Now that we got Spencer and now that our roster is filled out, here's the the rest of the roster right here, man. These are the additions and the subtractions. Clay Thompson, Najee Marshall, Quentin Grimes, Spencer, Dan Whitty are the new guys in. Out is Derek Jones Jr., Josh Green, Tim Hardaway Jr., a.k.a. King's favorite player that ever put a jersey on. All right, King. But real quick, man, let everybody know, man, what's your takeaway so far, man? What was your, take, what was your, what was your thoughts on the Spencer Dan Whitty signing and what is your thoughts overall of this this uh off season for the Mavericks. Uh first and foremost, Nico run it back. Uh mm. I mean um that for that that addition and subtra- subtraction st- screen I guess you just showed uh was just amazing. Um I guess that's one of the best off seasons I've ever seen in Maverick history. Um but the Spencer did what he signed in bro uh we already said uh we had a, a few names that we thought about that Nico possibly could sign that we heard about um, like for a while now, I say basically uh, since he made the Clay Thompson trade and everybody else, uh, they came down to like, Den- I think Derek, not Derek, uh, Dennis Smith Jr., uh, Spencer Denwitty, and I think it was someone else. Um, yeah, it's, uh, t- uh, t- Taylor Torton Hook. T- yeah, uh, Taylor. T-H-T. Yeah, THT. Yeah, and uh, Nico picked Spencer Denwitty. Um, as soon as, as soon as the name dropped and it said he agreed. Well, first and foremost, I thought he would agree after I heard his comments. I think it was overseas talking about Luka Doncic was the best player in the NBA. I was like, well, it looks like he's going to be joining the Mavericks because if he was joining the Lakers, he probably would have said LeBron James. But um, once I heard that, I knew he was coming back to the team. Uh, now, I mean, it just it kind of solidifies the backup guard position now, doesn't it? Um, like, as soon as I heard the news, I'm like, wow, well, I don't got to worry about when Luka's off the court anymore. Uh, I know Spencer Dinwiddie can do a little bit of that. Um, we played a three guard system before. Uh, he was he was actually the other piece of the three guard system. Um, we got Kyrie instead of JB, and we got we got uh, Clay Thompson as well, bro. So 
that's not including other guys, the, the Najee Marshalls, the Quentin Grimes, who are going to play better than they ever have in their career because of being around those guys. Uh, this is awesome. Um, like I said, I'm. Um, this is this is the most confident I've ever been going into a season uh, since we've been doing the show together. Uh, I really, I know I've said before, like some wild things. Mavericks could win so many games and they could be the number one seed and fight for it and all that. And everything starts off as usually like weird. And we got to go through a whole period of uh, testing our team. And then we finally, I guess, get better and, and possibly win 50 games. But I really feel like with, with a, you know, the cream of the crop in the West this year, uh, I think this is <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm going into the season like, bro, can't nobody mess with us. Uh, the team is ridiculously deep. Uh, we have a, a bench unit that could probably win some games against some bad teams in the NBA. Uh, yeah, bro, I'm just excited. I thought it was a great move. Uh, Nico did his thing, but what do you expect is Nico Harrison. And um, now, Jason K, I get it done, bro. Let's go finish the job. That's how I feel. Uh, just real two quick points I want to make. The first point is, uh, and Nico, we trust. That, that's already a given. Uh, Nico's already given Luca the best team he's played with so far, man. And see, in this this career he had so far, um, with us getting Spencer Dinwiddie, I think I told one of my close friends today. I said, man, I, I trust him a whole lot more than Exum. I feel a whole lot better now. I feel I feel like we like you said we have a more competent third guard now that can handle the rock and, and facilitate the offense. And Spencer Dinwiddie. Um, I think, like I said, he's been in this offense before. He's been in the system before. He knows the, uh, the franchise. He knows the coach, all that good stuff. So that's why I said, man, I think this was a perfect uh, signing for Dallas. It's a, uh, what's it, a low risk, high reward with Spencer Dinwiddie. And Dinwiddie's not going to be playing a, you know, he's going to be in the more in a more fitable role for him here compared to what he was in uh, his other stops. So I feel like it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, like you said, I was already confident. I'm like extra confident now. Um Going into the season, I, I'm just ready to, to get the season started, man. Check this out. Starting line, this this is the, the Mavs rotation coming up this season, man. Check this out. Luka at point guard. You got Luka, Kyrie, Klay Thompson, P.J. Washington, and Derek Lively as the starters. I think we kind of already talked about that. That's what we think is going to start. This is off the bench now. Mr. Dinwiddie, Quentin Grimes, Najee Marshall, uh, Max Cleaver, and Daniel Gafford. You forgot about Hardy as well. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the, that's the top ten. Right now, I think I listed right here. Top ten. I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping Max get knocked off that top ten. I'm hoping we got. I, I'm. I'm hoping too. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. But for right now, for this, that's not a bad. I mean, I, no, I don't no, know. Either. That that's a whole lot better. I would rather go in that team going against Boston in the finals than the team we had going in yeah. this year. You know what I'm saying? So, listen, man. Uh, great, great move by Nico. Uh, Nico's done it again. I don't. I, I think I've lost words to describe what Nico has done for the team and what kind of GM he is. This is something I think uh, a lot of well, we, we talked about it here on this show way back when I first came up with the coin, the phrase in Nico, we trust. I just, I mean, the dude just keeps amazing us. It started from him tr- being able to trade Josh Richardson to this. Just think about that, man. From, from that to this, like, this is crazy, man. Um, and for us to put to happen to our team, for our team to now be a destination, for our team to be looked at as a as a because it's a contender, you know, what I'm saying like just being able to get the players that we we actually went out and got players we wanted, and we actually you know, with no hesitation. Because now think about it too, King. This is three times in a row now. So supposedly Spencer Dinwiddie was decided between Dallas and L.A. L.A. wanted him back. Three times. It's three times now. Kyrie, Clay Thompson, and now Spencer Dinwiddie. Dallas has taken three teams. I mean, three players. Away from the Lakers, man. So big ups to Nico, man. Uh, of course, y'all already know we'll probably talk about this some more on Friday with the members. So you guys can join us here on Friday. We just want to give you a real quick uh, opinion on this move. Uh, like I said, great move by the Mavs. Uh, the the roster is starting to shape up now to a, a, a nice contending team. I feel like now we are definitely the favorites in the West. Uh, but it ain't gonna be easy. So, but yeah. Do you know what Spencer? Do you know what Spencer averaged last year in a supposed bad year? Uh, 10 points, uh, four rebounds, and uh, five assists. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I would take that as a third uh, point guard on my, on my team any day. And that's with, you know, not a system that he's used to and all that. You feel me? That's trying to yep. change different teams and switch around like this. He's back in the system that he thrives in. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited, bro. I'm very excited now. Like this just cream on, cream on the top, bro, sprinkles. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely, definitely that. 
All right, man. Before we end it, man, we got to do one more thing and show some love to some uh, partners of the channel, man. Before we continue, we want to give a special shout out to Fanatics for hooking the channel up with a personalized link for you guys and ladies to get all of your official NBA Dallas Mavericks merchandise and apparel. If you're interested in helping the channel at all, please scan the QR code on the screen or check out the link in the description. We appreciate all of the continued support and big thanks go out to Fanatics once more for hooking us up over here at We Talk Mavs. Yes, sir, guys. All you got to do is scroll on down to the description box below. It will have the link for Fanatics. Probably the perfect time, man, to copy some brand new, brand spanking new Mav gear, man, with our new Mavs that we added to the team, man. I don't know if some of y'all still got y'all Spencer Dinwiddie jerseys, but you might want to go ahead and copy a brand new Spencer Dinwiddie jersey. Who knows? But yeah, man, listen, that's going to do it for us, man. For all, all the, the good things that the Mavs have done, all the good things that Nico have done, man, it's, it's, man, it's, it's just, a, it's a sight to see, man. But uh, yeah, with all that being said, man, it's your boy Rail and King, man. When we talk Mavs, when we talk Dallas Mavs, from a fan's perspective, Mavs fans, members, we will see y'all on Friday, man. So I know y'all gonna want to talk some more about this on Friday. And we definitely welcome y'all, man. If you want to become a member of the channel, man, just simply hit that join button. Join us here on Friday, man, as we talk about all things Dallas Mavericks. And guess what, guys? We out. <laughs>